As a founder of the Virginia Railway Express, the VRE, which opened in 1992, I can honestly say it is amazing how far Fairfax County has come with mass transit. Once a sleepy suburb where cars were the main way to get around, Fairfax County is now home to 11 metro stations, with three more coming online in the county next year. Reston Town Center, Herndon, and Innovation Center. The other Silver Line Phase II stations, Dulles Airport, Loudoun Gateway, and Ashburn, will take riders to the airport and into Loudoun County. The Rail to Dulles vision has been in the works for decades, and we have had many generations of leaders and community members to thank for passing the torch and keeping the initiative alive. The Fairfax Connector Bus System works in tandem with metro stations and park and ride lots to help commuters make the connections they need. Recently, Fairfax Connector partnered with the schools to launch a student bus pass pilot program. Students in middle school and high school can use the Connector bus for free to get to and from school and evening activities. This year, the board funded a pilot program to allow students at Justice High School to use their student passes on Metro Bus. Fairfax Connector buses are equipped with bike racks so that commuters can incorporate biking and exercise into their trip. Since our countywide bicycle master plan was adopted in 2014, we've added over 100 miles of bike infrastructure to make Fairfax County more bike friendly. We are also proud to be a member of Capital Bike Share. Since 2016, 29 bike sharing facilities have been added to Fairfax County, enlivening our urban areas of Reston and Tysons. 36 additional bike sharing facilities are slated for Fairfax County in the coming year. Fairfax County understands that pedestrian walkways, paths, and trails are not just for recreation, but serve as an important bike and pedestrian connection. This past year, Fairfax County added a missing link in the sidewalk system along Route 7 under the 123 bridge in Tysons to connect Greensboro Metro with surrounding businesses. Now, 11 miles of paths and sidewalks along Leesburg Pike create a seamless connection from the Dulles Toll Road all the way to the city of Alexandria. Another pedestrian and bike improvement is the newly paved and well-lit Vesper Trail in Vienna. The trail opened this year and connects residential neighborhoods to the Spring Hill Metro Station and nearby restaurants and retail in Tysons. Multimodal transportation is our goal in Fairfax County. We want commuters to have access to a wide array of travel choices. I'm excited that Fairfax County's first bus rapid transit system will be coming to the Richmond Highway Corridor in southeast Fairfax County as part of the Embark Richmond Highway project. Road widening, signal upgrades, and additional turn lanes will reduce traffic congestion and lay the foundation for future metro stations. The Richmond Highway Corridor is prime for revitalization and these transportation improvements will help turn this highway into a vibrant and modern destination. In November 2018, the Jones Branch Connector opened as one lane in each direction, helping traffic flow near the Tyson's Corner Center. The road will be fully completed later this year, is expected to carry more than 21,000 vehicles per day, and will include brand new bike and pedestrian facilities. Perhaps most importantly, you may have noticed construction preparation along I-66 outside the Beltway. Over the next few years, 22 and a half miles of new express lanes will be added alongside three regular lanes on I-66 from I-495 to Gainesville. New bus service, expanded park and ride lots, and 11 miles of new bike and pedestrian trails will be included in the transformation of I-66. As Fairfax County continues to grow and urbanize, planning for and investing in multimodal transportation solutions has never been more important.